唔会慌，唔会慌 ，absent， 王美玲。Um, sir. Who are you? Uh, I'm Chie, and uh, I just want to tell that inform uh, Mailing is attending a funeral now. Uh, so oh, she. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mailing attending funeral. Hmm. Ah, Wei Hong. Yi Si. Yes, sir. Yo, Yi Si, are you there? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Okay. okay.
Okay, guys, have you finished with your answer? Have you finished constructing um, your answer? Not yet, sir. Sorry? Yes, sir. Not, not yet. So, sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, not yet. Okay, nah. Sorry, I can't hear you. What is that? Not yet. Not yet. So how long do you need? Yeah? Another 10 more minutes, sir. Okay, give you another 10 more minutes. So and then we'll start our discussion at 8.34, 8.35, yeah.
Okay, class, after you have finished the uh, discussion, uh, question seven, uh, question four, I want you to go to discuss question one, yeah? Let me present the screen first. Continue to uh, the discussion with question one, yeah? Uh. Define ecosystem and how does the ecosystem maintain stable? We have uh, discussed uh, two questions today. Hello, class. By now, you should finish some action uh, for yeah. Now, we're going to one.
for question one, basically is talking about hemostasis. So you can quote an example to explain uh, if you find out difficult to answer. Yes. What's the question for question one? Really? Let me see. Okay, okay, I project it again. Can you see the can you see my screen? Um, yes, sir. Yeah, okay.
Okay, guys, have you finished with your answer for question one? Have you finished the, your discussion with question one? Uh, I think need five more minutes. Okay, okay, another five more minutes.
Ng Wei Hong, are you there? Ng Wei Hong? Okay, have you finished with your answer? Right, let's share your answer. Wu Heng Dong? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, come share with me. Uh, which question? I mean, which... Uh, question 1 and question 4, which one you want to present first? Uh... Let's go to question 4 first. Uh. Club of room. Okay, okay. Uh, in my opinion, uh -huh. uh, the proof to limit uh, will be realized. Will be realized, uh, okay. Yeah, Fine. yeah. The first thing is we can observe is the from the pollution. Mm -hmm. Is the the example is the plastics emission of plastics. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a very uh serious issues for the past 10 to 20 years as okay. now right now there are man, many countries are start to controlling the the uses usage of the plastics and like Malaysia our country uh, the shopping mall are start to not uh, using uh, not giving the plastics and everyone will and the straw in the, I mean the restaurant will not given the start uh, reduced to the use the straw, and this I mean, I think this will uh, getting more and more is uh, how to say um, yeah the usage will getting more and more re reduced and many country and other country. Also, we start to reduce the the, the 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 usage of plastic, and I think one at one point that the the emission of the plastic will the pollution by plastic will start to reduce. And the second second is the population growth, also will be realized realistic. I mean realistic, because some of the we can we can observe by some of the developed country, uh, their population growth has reached the peak, and start to reduce. One of the example is the Japan. There, there tend to uh, the the birth rate of their country are start to reduce, and. Yeah, and this is all I find. Okay, there is. How about industry? How about the food supply? I haven't. Uh, you have half, half, half an hour. You no, know, you should uh, uh, have a complete picture on that. Okay, how about your question one? Uh, okay. Um, first, I want to de define the ecosystem. Ecosystem is made up of two major components. One is biotic. And another one is air by the air The system will be remain stable when these two components are remain will are unchanged. This is due to the reason that the biotic and abiotic will affecting each other. For example, the plant needs the carbon dioxide and sun to do the photosynthesis and the animals are required water, food and oxygen to to do continuous living. As the abiotics 
such as the weather, um, climate, that are uh, having a remain. I mean, when the 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 sun uh, contributes supply to the to, to the plant, the plant is able to do the photosynthesis and produce the the oxygen to the animals. And the plant can, if having the good climate, uh, the plant is able to grow and the food of the animals is, yeah, the, the animals have, are having the, some of the animals are eating the plants and the plant is growing that they are having their foods. So therefore the ecosystem will become uh, stable if all the things are remain unchanged I mean uh, continuously supply I mean help each other uh, okay, that's my good, point good. Yeah, and then you say the ecosystem will be stable isn't it yeah right but then when you come to the club of room why then you say the population will be dropping pollution will be dropping won't it be as what you discussed in the question one the ecosystem is stable <laughs> see the point or not? Uh, huh? Okay. <laughs> because one of your answers say stable, one of your answers say not stable, right? I uh, I I I mean for my second question, I mean second answer is if all the things is work uh okay, I mean works fine, then mm. all the things will be stable. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, in fact, this is the argument there. Yeah? That is why I purposely chose question four and question one for you. Okay, to see um, the, the, the both sides of the effect. There is no yeah. right or wrong answer in this case. Yeah, depends on the what uh, how how you justify it. Okay, okay. thank you, Indo. Thank you, sir. Uh German. Yes, German. Yes, come. Uh, okay. Yeah, um the limit to growth is the prediction that the based on the thesis that the continued growth leads to uh, less than uh, leads to the leads to infinity quantities that just do not fit into a finite world. So they have made some assumptions to support their point, which is the increase of the population is influenced by the crowding, food intake, pollution, and also the material standard of living. This material standard of living is depends on the level of capital, which is relative to the size of the population and also the productivity of capital. So any of any rise from these four factors will lead to the downwards of the birth rate and also the death rate decreases with the increasing food intake and the material standard of living will increase due to the increasing on pollution and crowding. Uh, in my opinion, I think that the limits to growth will not happen. Uh, this can, based on some 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 point of view. So when we come to the technological development part, as the times is going, the technological is improving. So uh, although when we trying to find, uh, trying to develop the new new technological development, we we'll need to use some uh, non-renewable resources that may may lead us to the what they state in the limit to growth. But I believe that if the technological development is keep improving, uh, one day we will figure it out how to like mean uh, how to create some energy uh, renewable uh, renewable resources to to exchange with the non-renewable resources. Then about the food production part, uh, I think wherever the certain limits are reached, uh, they, they will also develop some new technologies that will, will effectively to either remove the limits or, or the subsequent technology of the limits. Uh, which means that the invention of the new technologies in this case will also help to 
uh, solve resolve the uh, solve the food production limits problem. Uh, that's all from my point. And how about the? Uh, uh, in my opinion, I think that the the limit to growth will not happen. For pollution or pollution is actually uh, as a result of the activity of human being. Oh, pollution. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought it's a conversation. Uh, in pollution, I think that uh, uh, as what the sound Hong Dong mentioned, the pollution uh, these days are keep in in moving. So because as we also keep development some new things, we might need to uh, affect some environment like maybe destroying the uh, ecosystem or something else. Then this may lead to the pollution keep increasing. Okay. <laughs> so the pollution is increasing. Uh? Yeah. Yeah. So you, you, then you say uh, uh, population growth will increasing also. Uh, because I I I just based on the uh, food and also the technological development is mm -hmm. I think will not lead to the limit to growth but uh, if due to the pollution I think it might lead to uh, all right okay so how about question one ecosystem oh, okay. uh, a complex uh, ecosystem is like a complex relationship between all the living and non-living things interact with each other so uh, each, each organism in the ecosystem plays important role. So it is important to maintain the ecosystem stable. So the stability of the ecosystem is relied on the <coughs> two, two key components, which are the resilient, uh, resilience and also resistance. The resilience is the speed that ecosystem recovers from a uh, disturbance, while the resistance is the ecosystem's ability to remain stable when confront with a disturbance. So I will take the marine ecosystem as example because I think it is considered as a stable ecosystem. This is due to uh, the ocean do not show too much variation in productivity from year to year. And also at the same, same time, they, they, are, they are stable in their chemical composition due to they, they insulin. Are they, are, they are stable in their chemical composition due to being saline and, and other features like dissolved oxygen, light like temperature, those are also remain more or less constant. And that's all from my point. Okay, good. Okay, good. Let's listen from Hansia. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Uh, question four. Okay. In my opinion, I think that the limit of growth is hardly realizable as there are many factors that cause the study to be inaccurate. First of all, it, it is stated that in the study, the ability of technology to increase the resources grew is only showing a linear behavior, but this point is immediately critiqued by Peter Pessel as he found out that the study simulation is too, is too simple while the value assigned to the role of technological progression in solving problems of resources depletion, pollution, and food production. Besides, the definition of resources changed over year. For instance, what was the primary shipbuilding resources until night? Uh, 18. However, nowadays uh, ships are mostly built based on alloys metal. Besides that, the population growth is also is also showing a more slow. It's a, it's not showing an exponential growth as it become tends to become a more flat curve. So I think that the Limit of growth is hardly realizable. However, it is a good base model to future study. How about industrial activity, pollutions, food supply? 
Sorry, sir. Hello. Uh, yeah, how, how about the uh, industrial activity and pollutions? Uh, the industrial activities is increasing exponentially. This point, I agree. However, the pollutions nowadays tends to become less, become, become more, 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 more okay. Uh, what do you mean by as, okay? Uh, become more, become less pollution, uh, less pollution. As there are many renewable, renewable resources that used to uh, provide us the power supply compared to the traditional way by burning the fossil fuel, which is uh, which is the non-renewable resources. So the burning process creates a lot of uh, harmful gases to the ecosystem so that the pollution nowadays has improved a lot. Okay, As, so you say that the growth of industry is exponentially, then you agree with that, okay? But in the limits of growth, you say that the industrial activity is reduced, so you reach a peak and then it reduces. But you say it, it is uh, keep on increasing. So it is uh, against the theory of the limits to grow. So how do you explain that? Uh, hello? Jimmy, are you there? Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. Waiting for your answer. Uh, I think that the industrial growth for now is growing exponentially. Mm -hmm. However, until a point, the industrial activity will tend to reduce. At what point? Uh, maybe. When, when, when will the industrial activity start reducing? Uh, yeah. Until there's a government restriction that says uh, the industrial activity is too much. Why the government government will say the industrial activity is too much? Because industrial activity generate revenue for government or generate revenue for government is a good point, but however the ecosystem is being destroyed. Ecosystem is being destroyed. So yeah. there's pollution, everything is being destroyed. So in, yeah. in this case, you are agree with the, the model described by the limits to grow, right? Uh agree partially, but not fully. Yeah, agree. okay, very good. Agree partially. So population growth and food supply, all those, you think that it won't, uh, it, you disagree with the theory, but for pollution and industry activity, you agree with the, with, with the theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. All right, how about your first question? Ecosystem? Uh, an ecosystem is a geographical area where plants, animal, or organism works together mm -hmm. to form a diversity of life. So, so my point is earlier, it's quite same as Dreaming's point. Mm -hmm. So the two key, there are two key components of ecosystem, which is the re resilience and the resistance. Resistance is the, is the ecosystem ability to remain stable when, when facing a disturbance such as a natural disaster. Resilience is the speed where the ecosystem recover from a disturbance. For example, resistance refers to a forest ability to withstand a windstorm, while resilience refers to how quickly the tree will grow back. But however, I think that the stability of the ecosystem is also affected by human factors as humans can destroy the ecosystem while, while in conversely, humans can also help the ecosystem to become stable while for example, there are many organizations such as WWE and some other organizations uh, try try their best to maintain their the ecosystem as hard as possible. 
Besides that, there are also many campaigns such as the reforestation campaign that also help the ecosystem to become to maintain stable. Yeah, that's basically all okay, my point. Very good. Sorry, your 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 name you you're Jiming or Han Xiang? I'm Han Xiang. Yeah, Han Xiang. Uh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, especially the question four, you are, you, are, you are partially agree with certain things and then partially disagree with certain things. Yeah, we no need to agree with the, the whole theory. Yeah, it depends on the context. Okay, Wei Hong. Wei Hong. Are you there, Wei Hong? Wei Hong absent. Ah? Titan? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. yes um. yeah. uh, question four first, yeah. Yes, question four first. Yeah. Uh, in the limit of growth reported by the Club of Rome, mm -hmm. there is a graph of the birth rate will become lower and the death rate had become... Uh, sorry. Uh, the death rate had become lower and the population had increased. It, this... It has been realized it, it because uh because eh? oh yeah because of the enhancement of technology in medical line there are some uh medical equipment that could help to cure some fatal disease such uh such as SARS and some mal cancer it could greatly reduce the number of death but in the same time the birth rate has been decreased is because of there was uh some family controlation plan such as using condom and adoption of children ne next it also projected the graph of the natural resources of will be in decreasing and the pollution of the environment will be increased uh, as the innovation of cars condi air conditioning and smartphone devices uh, it has greatly uses the natural resources and it will cost the Decreasing of natural resources. Why particularly handphone? Uh? Yeah. Why why particularly handphone? Uh, it won't 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 cause a depletion depletion of the natural resources, man. Uh, again. You 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 mentioned the handphone, is it? Uh, uh yeah. Handphone. Yeah yeah. Uh, why 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 only handphone? Other technology also causing the reduction the reduction of uh, natural resources, what? Yeah. Uh, one of the example. Uh, so you have to mention as one of the example. Uh, just how uh, yeah. initially you did not mention that. So oh, your okay. answer will yeah. become only handphone. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. continue. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, for, uh, yeah. For example, cars, it consumes fossil fuels to generate energy to move, and but it had great lead produce the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide which will pollute the environment and it will cause the pollution of environment so what happened to the environment uh, pollutions increase or decrease uh increase yeah okay you keep on increasing la. yeah okay uh yeah then, but the theory say it will increase until one point, then it will start reducing. Uh, so you agree, you agree with the theory. Uh, for this uh particles, yes, it is realized. Yeah, is I agree with it. Yeah. You agree because, with it. That means if you you reach one point, and then the pollution will be reduced. Ah uh, yes, because the awareness of the human being, ah, uh, is being realized. Yeah. Okay. And how about industrial activity? Uh, I just 
uh, wrote this to yeah. Okay, right. So we still haven't uh, got a complete answer yet, huh? Oh right. yeah. Okay. How about question one? Ecosystem. Oh yeah. Uh, the definition of ecosystem is that a community, a community or a group of living organism that live and interact with each other in a specific environment. For example, uh, tropical forests are considered as a ecosystem because it's made up of li living beings such as trees, plants, animals, insects, and microorganisms. Mm -hmm which uh which are in constrained interaction between themselves and affected by other physical or chemical components such as sunlight uh, uh oxygen and other components uh there are two components that maintaining the stability of ecosystem, which are resilience and re resistance. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, uh, but the, the, the definition of resilience and resistance are almost the same as Jiaming and, and, and Han Xiang. Mm -hmm. But there are, uh, Few, 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 few examples. Yeah. Okay. What are the examples? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. By increasing the resilience and resistance of the ecosystem, the first thing is to maintain the diversity of plants and animals in the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. uh, humans have a tendency to simplify ecosystem and to maximize one particle's output. Uh, next is to minimize the multiple stresses as illustration for the 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 first examples. The threshold changes are often associated with a combination of stress such as nutrients species loss and over harvesting okay yeah. all right that's all ah uh, yeah that's all yeah okay good uh let's listen from uh pang shaven shaven yes hello yes come share share with us um, so the the limit of growth report can be divided into five aspects, which is planet population, mm -hmm. agricultural production, non-renewable resource, and, uh, induction output, and pollution generation. Mm -hmm. These five aspects ultimately contribute to, <coughs> to the prediction of the growth of planet population. The, the report model predicts that the uh, uh, planet population can be ended. Uh, can be growing in four different ways. Uh, before that, it is to believe that Earth has a maximum carrying capacity to support a number, a limited number of human life. Mm -hmm. Throughout these four predictions of planet population, uh, the they run incoherent with the planet carrying capacity where they uh one of the prediction uh alters even even alters the planet carrying capacity by consuming some unnecessary unrenewable I didn't get you what is that uh throughout this four prediction of planet pro uh pro population increasing they run incoherent with the planet carrying capacity mm -hmm. One of the prediction even alters the planet carrying capacity by consuming some unnecessary unrenewable resources. Meanwhile, the sec uh two two of the others prediction of planet population described to be decreased after after achieving the 
expanded carrying capacity. Lastly, the last prediction of the planet predicts that the planet population did not even reach the planet carrying capacity before smoothing out the planet population. The realization of this prediction is yet to be determined, determined as the planet population are still currently growing. However, there are still some false prediction from the from the report model, where one of the predictions <coughs> is that the world population will grow exponentially in year 2000, uh, will be 7 billion, whereas the actual world population was 6 billion in, the, in year 2000. Part of the reason is because uh, highly populated countries such as uh, China or India implemented their birth control measures. It also, it also uh, provided that the advancement of technology is neglected in predict in the prediction of planet of uh, in prediction of planet population, and it is an important factor in solving the first world problem. Uh, Continue. Uh, therefore, we can't say certain for the future that the uh growth. We can't say certain what. We can't say certain what. The this the the planet population prediction can be realized into the current. Uh, society. Uh. Mm -hmm. So you agree with the limits to grow? Um, not. Uh, I partially yeah uh, because um, the current world population is still growing, so we can't say certain because the limit of growth predicts until the 21st century, the end of 21st century. Mm. So the realization of the planet population uh, can never be fully uh, realized as the 21st century has yet to come. Okay. Although uh the although the report uh did focus on other aspects, uh I I only focus on <laughs> this as well. So in uh, exam you, you exam exam focus on four aspects, you only discuss one aspect, you still fail, you know. No, uh I didn't I didn't realize it it was uh focused or I I thought it was you know uh the the conclusion of this report was just um planet uh focusing on planet population there, there, there is a mm. graph in the lecture notes isn't it yeah 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 the, okay. there are four graphs yeah yeah okay how about question one ecosystem uh an ecosystem an ecosystem is essentially uh, a location comprises of living and non-living things interacting with each other. Uh, they they help sustain each one and another <coughs> uh, over time. In the form in the formation of <coughs> in the formation of ecosystem, living organism first conquer the area, <coughs> a certain location harvesting the natural resources in the process of de developing one itself. Time is the time is how the ecosystem change uh, or changes or remains stable. Over time, the key players of the of an ecosystem uh, remains whereas the weak ones are diminished diminish to none. Uh, therefore this is how the ecosystem remains stable. Okay, all right. So if you compare your answer in the uh, 
question one and answer in question four, what are the difference? What are the argument? difference? Mm. Uh, the world population can also be viewed as an acute system uh, in a very big way. Where uh, assume as what system? Ecosystem. Ecosystem, okay. Uh, where humans are trying to sustain in in terms of population and the other four aspects. Uh, mm -hmm. So they are basically similar. Uh. Mm. So what is your conclusion? Uh, my conclusion is Wait, uh, hold on. Mm. <laughs> Let me think for a uh, while. My conclusion is the I believe that the planet has uh, a carrying capacity which uh, one day the Earth cannot sustain mm -hmm. uh, a num uh, can only sustain a number of lives. Mm where even the uh, other aspects such as technological advancement cannot solve the uh, the cannot uh, expand the planet carrying capacity. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Your answer is coming from internet or your own answer? Uh, both. Both. How many percent are from internet? Uh, 40, I think. You copy bullet bullet from the internet or you No, uh, I I read through then I write why I not understand. Uh. Okay, good. Alright, okay. Don't 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 copy bullet bullet, does it? Yeah. Okay, anything else you want to add in? Uh no. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's yes, listen from Yi Hang. Hey, anyone knows why is Wei Hong absent today? Uh? You were absent two times already, you know, if today we are continuous two hours. Okay, Yihang? Uh, uh, so I start with question for first. Okay. Uh, I agree with the limit of limit to grow. Because mm -hmm. uh, the medical technology could not treat the epidemic, epidemic. the ex explosive growth of humanity, population, and economy have has stressed the natural eco ecosystem and Lowering their cap capacity to self regulate and make making the making breakdown such like the epidemic in the recent past global society have comfort with the SARS uh, H1N1 and now we have the COVID nineteen so. If the, uh, so the population will stop somewhere because of the epidemic because we're not able to cure even with the medical advance. Uh, the population will be limit, limited due to the epidemic. Continue. Uh, beside that, I also agree with the point growth in consumption have forced us to use the result uh, resource more efficiently. So? The uh, common... 
Okay. The race uh, raising the efficiency of a system permits once to you use fewer input per unit. What do you mean by the races? Your last uh, sentence, uh, can you repeat again? Raising the efficiency of a system. What do you mean by raising the efficiency of a system? Can you explain it more further? Uh, but I saw and I not so know this. Then why you say so? If you don't know it, uh, you copy from internet, is it? Ah uh, yes. Ah, that's why I copy without understanding is very dangerous. Okay, continue. Uh, the uh, the raising eh, raising the efficiency of a system permit one to use fewer input. Mm -hmm. In itself, higher efficiency is typically good, but the raising efficiency in in escapably lower the re resilience. Yeah, copy without understanding. Uh, yeah. Okay, go to question one. Ecosystem. Ecosystem. Uh, and the uh, ecosystem is a, uh, the two key components of ecosystem stability are resilience and resistance. So what is ecosystem first? What is ecosystem? Yeah, you have to define ecosystem, right? The question asks you to define, right? Ah. Hmm. Uh, ecosystem is a community of the living organized in conjunction with the non-living component of their environment. Mm -hmm. Continue. What happened, he hung? So, uh, continue with the stable. Continue with question one. How is sustained? How 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 is the ecosystem sustained itself? Uh, the the question is asking you define an ecosystem and discuss how ecosystem remains stable, isn't it? Uh, how does the ecosystem uh, sustain itself? Think of your answer, come back to you later. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Yan Chan. Uh, hi, sir. Yeah. All right. Question four first. Okay. Uh, the limits to grow capture the world attention with its thesis that unchanged population growth and resources consumption will dramatically worsen the condition for humanity within 40 to 50 years. Mm. I partially agree that the limits of growth report by the cut of rooms, rooms will be realized. Yes, it will be realized as in year 2008, Gratham Turner's 
of CSIRO found that the observed historical data from 1917 to 20th century closely match the simula simulates results of the standard runs limits of grow model for almost all the outputs reported. Mm -hmm. Uh, next, no, it will uh, it will be realized. It will not be realized as in nineteen seventy three, a group of researcher at the science policy research unit at the University of Sussex published thinking about the future. The Sussex group examines the structure and assumption of the MIT models. They conclude that the simulation were very sensitive to a few key assumptions and suggest that the MIT assumptions were unduly pessimistic. The success scientists express their opinion that the MIT methodology, data, and projection were faultly and does not accurately reflect reality. Some of the criticism was, however, recognized as valid and improving overall understanding of dynamic models, for example, actual res actual issue of backcasting the world tree model, which retrospectively predicted a huge drop in industrial production in 1880, which obviously obviously did not happen. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it for question four. Okay, this one is the answer from internet, or your you consult your own. Uh, I found some of the facts that in the internet, lor. Then okay. how many percent you copy bula bula? Uh, fifty percent, I guess. That is too high percentage already, dear. Ah, I okay. see. Try to reduce it. Okay. Okay. How about question one? Question one. Okay. Uh, ecosystem. an ecosystem is a community of living organisms in conjunction with non-living components of their environment. Interacting as a system, these biotic and abiotic components are linked together through nutrients, cycles, and energy flows. For example, let's take the relationship between sheep and lion in the ecosystem. For its survival, the lion eats the sheep, and each relationship like this has an effect on their creatures and plants living on the same area. Hence, if lion eats more sheep, it has an effect on their, on the plants too. They begin to flourish, since there are there aren't many sheep to eat the plants. An ecosystem can be remain stable with the help of adaptability and interconnected nature of the organism living in ecosystem. For example, if one important spe species species begins to disappear from a habitat, other species begin to fill the void. Conversely, if a species becomes too numerous, the plants and animals that it related with adopt to the increased populations. Let's make the relationship between sheep and lions in the ecosystem. If the population of the sheep increase, the population of the lions increase too as the food supply of the lion increase. This will result in decreasing in population of sheep as the predator is increased. And finally, the population of lion will also decrease to an optimum level, which conclude uh, the ecosystem remains stable. Okay, you are using sheep and lion as an example. Huh? So in your question, in your answer, you should have say for example, Okay, in the case of lion and sheep. Okay? I see. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank Let's you. go back to Yi Hang. Are you ready, Yi Hang? Uh, okay. Okay, come. Uh, an ecosystem is a functional unit consists of all the uh, living being of an area and the non living component of their environment interact to form a stable system. Mm -hmm. uh, there are different kinds of ecosystems. Uh, for the nature, nat natural ecosystems such like the forest and lake. Mm -hmm. uh, well, for the main ecosystem is like the garden aquarium. Mm -hmm. 
and Akoryo. Uh, the the uh, uh, get the example of the of a pond. Uh, the organi organ organism organism of the pond pond get the everything they need from the pond itself, and they help to keep it water and soil in in good condition. Uh, so this make the ecosystem self sustaining. Okay, your explanation is a bit superficial. Uh, it's not in depth. Uh. you need to further improve on that. Okay, Yihang. Uh, Are you facing okay. problem in, uh, in 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 explaining using English? Uh, uh actually, I find from website, but I'm not so sure understand what they talking about. I see. Okay. So in that case, what you need to do is you keep on looking from the website, you find the answer, but try to understand it. Okay. What is the problem that you cannot understand the the the, the information from the website? Maybe uh the the word they use. You cannot Some, understand. Uh, right? mm. uh, yes. Okay. But you just check a few keyword, what is the meaning of the keyword will do lah. Okay. So uh, put more effort in, yeah, Yihang? Yeah, okay. Okay, right. Okay, let's listen from Xingxian. Uh, hi, Xingxian. Sir. Hello, sir. Yes, can come. Uh, okay, uh, for question four. Yeah, question four. The limits to growth reported by the Club of Rome. Can you speak louder? Hello? Uh, yeah, okay. The limits to growth reported by the Club of Rome states that the earth earth's interlocking resources and the global economic system <clears throat> of trading resources cannot supply to the increasing economic rates and population growth beyond the year 2100 even with the advancement of technology mm. the report was brought up due to a study done in 1970 by a team of international researchers at the massachusetts Institute of Technology, who researched the difficulties of worldwide growth. <clears throat> Their studies tackled on five basic factors, namely population growth, agricultural production, non-renewable resource depletion, industrial output, and pollution. They then tested using a computer model with several sets of assumptions to determine the future for mankind. Through their findings, society may be well off in the future if they can limit themselves on certain criteria and maintain a state of global equilibrium in population and production. Another study by Henry from Yale found that the data back from 1970s until the year 2000 have nearly matched uh, with the facts stated in the report. Therefore, it clarifies as a clear warning for humanity about the limits to growth in the near future. Nonetheless, humanity is working on limiting its resources, mainly the non-renewable resources, slowly as the time goes by. Even though the total numbers of population are still increasing, the rate of population growth have, has been declining since the 1980s. Several countries have started to decline, such as Japan and Singapore. Uh, that's all for my point for question 4. Okay, how about industrial activity and the pollutions? <coughs> Sorry, industrial activities? Yeah, indus industrial activity and pollutions. Uh, These two factors, how? Industrial activities are uh, whereby they keep on producing goods and mm -hmm. therefore uh, causing the population to grow, whereby uh, they are producing long lasting food which humanity can feed off feed out of from so your answer is uh, how many percent are from internet uh 40 i think or 50 40 so you forgot the internet never mentioned about industrial and the pollution so you also for you also never mentioned about in your in your discussions right yeah because i quickly do question one just now yeah okay yeah go to question <coughs> one 
Okay, for question one, uh, ecosystem is defined as a community or group of living organisms that live in and interact with each other in specific environment. As mm -hmm. an example, uh, tropical forests are ecosystems that are made up of several living organisms that are constantly interacting with each other to survive, such as trees, animals, and microorganisms. An ec ecosystem can be maintained when there is balance. This means that every living being in the ecosystems are contributing towards a st certain stability. For example, herbivores are consuming grasslands while also fertilizing the soil with their droppings. And also uh, predators prey on the herbivores to control its population. Thus, all living beings are playing a role.